In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Bifrost DAP. It's actually a DeFi DAP, which not only allows you to swap, but also to stake. And you can also take part in the crowd loans, which is of course the special ability that Bifrost has as opposed to other DeFi dApps out there such as Karura, at least so far. There is also Pardal Heiko, they're working on a DeFi dApp, but they're still in the early days because they've just recently won the parachain auction. So we'll focus on what is this DAP all about. Again, you cannot use a lot of the functionalities yet because they haven't enabled transfers yet and there's still some things they need to enable. They are due to enable them in exactly three days, so on the 20th of October. And I'm sure you're all looking forward to that, especially if you're due to get some BNC tokens, but not only for that, but also to be able to trade it, supply liquidity and so on in order to maximize your income. So let's take a look and see what it's about. Well, we're on the first page here, bifrost.app. Again, the link can be found in the description of this video if you want to follow along. You can simply connect using your Polkadot.js wallet. You can see here on the top right hand corner that it says mainnet. So that's how you know you're in the mainnet. And uh, again, it shows your BNC balance if you are due to have any from the crowd loan or simply if you were planning to get some and uh, you'll be transferring it to your wallet. That's how it looks. You go to V Crowd Loan here, and here you can see they've got the section here of all the different crowd loans that they've been supporting, as well as ones they have not been supporting, but were taking part in the second batch of the Kusama Parchain auctions. As you can see here, the auction and the crowd loan. Okay, so we've got the two different tabs here, and we can toggle this button here, which is only supported. If you click this toggle button, you'll only see the crowd loans that were supported by Bifrost for the VSKSM minting. Okay, Bifrost itself had offered you the opportunity to mint VSKSM and also VS Bond, which you will need to hold if you want to recover your or claim, I should say, your. Uh, your original KSM after uh, after the 48 weeks are over. But uh, the advantage is that you can just use the VSKSM and VS Bond, especially VSKSM in uh, their DeFi DAP, and not only in their DeFi DAP, but also in Karura's DeFi DAP, because as I've mentioned in previous videos, Karura are also integrating uh, VSKSM and also BNC from Bifrost. Now they will be supporting the Polkadot, uh, the Polkadot auctions as well. So as you can see here, there's already a, a tab for that called Dot Slot. Now the redeem button here, the uh, one that's called the redeem VS token, this is to redeem your VS token. Okay, if you are eligible to do so, the same for VS Bond and for farming. Uh, so they're saying here that the VS Bond you get is the redemption certificate of pledged assets after you successfully participate in voting in addition to the one-to-one -one redemption of KSM with VS KSM after expiration you can also use VS Bond plus VS KSM to participate in their mining activities to obtain additional incentives so basically the way this works here is you could have redeemed your VSKSM if you had contributed and of course VS Bond because you need the two and they're both in equal amounts. Uh, if you had contributed to the Kintsugi crowd loan through the SALP method which is the functionality on Bifrost dashboard. And again they will be supporting other crowd loans in the future so the third batch of the Kusama auctions will also be supported here also the first batch of the Polkadot auctions on the 11th of November. Not I'm not sure if they're going to be supporting every single every single auction but uh, or every single participant but they may be supporting all of them in the first round because i'm sure that in the first round we're going to see all the big ones we're going to see akala we're going to see uh, moonbeam we're going to see aster network maybe even hydra dx so they're gonna, there's going to be a lot of competition probably fala network too uh, in the very first batch remember and maybe even more even more than that so i'm pretty sure they're going to be supporting a lot of these larger projects and the same here for uh, Parallel Heiko. If you had contributed to Parallel Heiko using the SALP method on Bifrost, you could redeem your VS KSM and VS Bond. Okay, so that's the awesome thing about it. And this is how you do it. You just simply go to the farming section here. And uh, the same here, you can redeem your VS tokens and VS Bond here when they'll eventually make that eligible. Uh, and then VS staking as well, that's coming soon. You will be able to stake your vs ksm and i'm not sure if you can stake vs bond perhaps but i don't think so because that has a different use case the use case of vs bond is to be used on a one-to-one -one ratio with vs ksm in order to retrieve 
your original KSM and it's likely going to be the same for DAR because Bifrost have announced that they're going to be integrating into Polkadot as well. So even though they're on Kusama, they're also going to be on Polkadot. They do have that functionality available, which is awesome. And this is how they're able to support the Polkadot crowd loans, because otherwise you may be wondering how could they support them if they're on Kusama and there's no bridge right now between Kusama and Polkadot. Well, Bifrost have a way, so that's great. There's also the wallet section here. And what I found interesting, and I really wanted to cover this in the tutorial, is they've added two new features here, and that's Karora and KUSD. We didn't have these in the past when I last looked at it. We only had up to here, right, up to VS Bond. Uh, so now they've integrated Karora and QSD, which means that you will be able to uh, use the swap functionality, which we'll look at in a moment, in order to swap between the different assets, including Karura and KUSD. And that's exactly the same on Karura. And you may be asking yourself, well, what's the point of having it in two different dashboards if they're exactly the same? Well, remember that at the end of the day, they're two different DeFi dashboards, two different DeFi projects, separate, but they are supporting each other, right? They are supporting each other. Uh, you're going to see BNC and VSKSM over on Karura as well. And is likely going to be on a Kala as well when they go live. So yeah, they're doing exactly the same here, and they're going to be uh, actually supporting. I'm assuming they're going to be supporting ACA and AUSD, which is going to be the KUSD alternative for a Kala, the stable token, which is pegged on a one-to-one -one ratio with the US dollar. Uh, so then, of course, we've got the swap feature, which is very basic functionality here. Everyone knows how to use this. Uh, for example, let's say you had BNC and you wanted to get uh, KSM, you could do so. Uh, or if you wanted to use uh, KOR, you had the different options here between KOR, BNC, VSKSM, and KUSD. And if you went for KUSD, again, you have the different options. So the idea here is that there's going to be bootstrapping. Okay, there's going to be bootstrapping. You will be able to supply liquidity to these pairs. And of course, once they launch, you will be able to supply liquidity here too. And there's likely going to be different tabs here for the different pairs so that you can supply liquidity in those liquidity pools. And there's going to be an APR, an APR as well, uh, which is normal. Okay, we don't know what that's going to be, of course, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be high, right? At least at the beginning to attract people. The early, the early liquidity providers are always the ones that are making the most money, you should say, or the benefiting the most from it, because that's when the APR is at its peak. Uh, but then it does, uh, it does pull back quite a bit, right? Significantly when. Uh, when there are going to be more people supporting it by providing liquidity. It's quite normal. Okay, people taking the risks early on are the ones that are being rewarded the most. So uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. As you can see, very basic functionality here. You could see that this is part of the roadmap is actually shown in the dashboard here. Uh, there's also the hello old friend tab here where you can check the water uh, just to show you once again how many BNC are due to get. Again, you're not able to claim your vested BNC yet when they enable that transfer functionality on the 20th and they announce it. I will be doing a video as well. And that's when we'll be able to claim our BNC uh, from not only the BNC that's available to us, the 50%, but also whatever's been accumulated in all those blocks ever since they won the parachain slot because that's been quite some time ago, right? Remember with Moon River when uh, we were able to claim 43.4% or 43.2%, I think it was, uh, at the time when they enabled transfers and that was at the end of September. So now we're close to the end of October, right? By the time these guys are gonna be enabling. So we're talking quite a bit, right? We're talking quite a bit, maybe, maybe about 17 to 18%, maybe even a bit more, maybe even 20%. So possibly even about, 65 to 70 percent of your bnc will be unlocked to you right when they will enable the transfers and that's quite uh, quite a significant amount right i'm sure you're going to be delighted with that uh, so yeah that's been it from today's video let me know in the comments below do you like the bifrost dashboard uh, are you going to be using it or do you prefer the karura ones let me let me know what you think thank you for watching Bye bye